Ah, yes, we love it. Julie started her company English with purpose, but when she found the perfect property in Imesville, she had an idea how she wanted her business to grow. She is participating in She Pitch this week. Uh, next week, sorry. Here's Julie. Home of everything, Frederick. We're continuing our She Week uh, pitch people who are kind of uh, doing either idea stage or growth stage. Julie is here with me. Welcome. Thank you. English with purpose. Yes. You're in the growth stage pitch part. How many companies are uh, uh, pitching for the growth stage? Just three. Just three. Mm -hmm. Okay. So tell me first of all about English with purpose. So English with purpose provides advanced English language coaching and communication training, we say, for people, teams, and companies working for a better world. Okay. And we leave that kind of open. Ah, um, what does that mean? Well, it started, I started the company in DC in 2009 and the market there was international development, foreign diplomacy, um, international journalist. And so everybody was working on some mission. Gotcha. And so I realized when I rebranded in 2018, I had to find a cohesive, like what's the cohesion here of the clients that we work with? Mm. And that's how we, we went with that. And then um, it works. We tend to attract, you know, <laughs> so basic, real super interesting clients. Yeah. So are, would you say most of your clients are people who were not born in the United States mm -hmm. and are here and trying to kind of assimilate in the business world utilizing English language? Correct. Okay. Yeah, they're okay. high level professionals. So they're trying to learn kind yeah. of the intricacies because English is probably, I would say, one of the hardest languages just because we have so many words that look similar but are pronounced totally differently and you probably don't want to make those mistakes if you're trying to speak to teams of people, I would yes. imagine. And yeah. public speaking and spontaneous speech is kind of the final frontier, right? So the, all of our clients are already usually accomplished in their yeah. half in yeah. some way. And then they've come to this region for, you know, new opportunities or maybe a transfer and or they're already working for a multinational company or maybe they're what we call the trailing spouse. Do you yeah. Know that concept? Oh, yeah. yeah. And the yeah. trailing spouse, you know, puts their career on pause to follow the person with the opportunity. But then they want to get back in the game. Interesting. And um, and then people find they're all perfectly serviceable and often it's not the company that's giving them feedback saying you need to improve it's almost always intrinsic motivation uh, they start to feel the gap between themselves and their american colleagues yeah very interesting what's your background um i studied linguistics with a focus on second language acquisition and teaching english as a second language Holy and cow. i have done i say i've done all the things at this point <laughs> i taught public school I taught business English in Bavaria as my first job after graduate school, which kind of lit the fire of the business English angle. Wow. Um, I've been a professor at a number of different institutions around here. And then I started the company in 2009, uh, frankly, because the, the higher ed situation is not good. You know, there are no full-time jobs in the humanities. And so I right. needed something yeah. know, other than like every other semester, maybe you'll have work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not, not easy yeah. to get a mortgage with that yeah. sort yeah. of a exactly. promise, right? Yeah. Well, that is fascinating. I just love that. I mean, I think it's, um, I'd never really even thought about like, you know, cause I know uh, they just, people tend to learn and figure it out. I didn't know how that they learned. So how, what is the process like? Um, for you so when with our individual coaching we have a very deep intake session yeah and the first consultation is always free um, we get our new business comes from either referrals since we've been doing this a long time but we moved to Frederick in 2022 specifically to focus on biotech and IT here yes makes sense um, makes sense but if somebody finds us uh, through the website, there's an intake form, which acts as a, bit, a little bit of a filter, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> and so it's Rolling like, you know, would you consider yourself an advanced English learner? You know, right. what are your challenges right now? And the, the way that we created the form tells us almost immediately that's the right client for this service. Yeah. So we know a little bit about that person before we have the consultation. It's all automated through Calendly. Yeah. You know? So we show up and we have these meetings for about half an hour, I ask a lot of deep questions, I take notes. Sometimes they'll need a little bit of pre-testing. Um, often 
the company is paying, right. so there might be a supervisor or somebody who has another perspective and will interview that person right. if needed. Basically finding yeah. out really what's the company's yeah. goals. Right, what's not the company's goals. Make sure that's aligned with the person's goals exactly. or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's usually been pretty open. We, like, yeah. It's rare that the company says one thing and the person yeah. says <laughs> another. You know, yeah. It's pretty comfortable. Um, and then it's not any specific length of time. Yeah. Um, we had some trouble during the pandemic with people booking for the first time, and I'm, everybody had this experience, people booking consultations but never following through. That had never happened. Mm. That's like a pandemic behavior. Yeah. So now we kind of have these filters in place. Almost always, once we've had the consultation, people move forward. Sure, and, sure. Um, because I'm sure they truly want to yeah. close that gap. Right. So the uh, expansion part with She Pitch is is what? This is a one day holistic retreat at my farm at in Iamsville, oh. which I got the business permit. Um, it's all clear. It's all <laughs> Just clear. in case Hi. anyone from the uh, office county is watching. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> And um, it's specifically focused on presentation skills and public speaking. Okay. And the difference is um, we started seeing an uptick in 2022 of Google searches for public speaking classes near me. It's also the number one pain point of our individual clients. Mm. And so it's designed with like 15 years of very intimate experience of you know, what they need, what could realistically be done in one day, and what are the kind of universal pitfalls that we could fix in a one day retreat. Okay. But the difference is that, you know, we have intention setting in the morning. It's in a beautiful place, you yeah. know, I have this pasture view from the living oh. room. We have organic lunch with wine. Um, we have nature walks, we have campfires. So they're working very hard in the workshop components, but in between they have these breaks and it's meant to be like a connectivity and bonding experience with the participants too. Exactly. Excellent. So how many people will you be able to comfortably have at this retreat? Eight. So one, we wanted to do small groups to yeah. keep it intimate. And two, that is what the zoning office put. <laughs> because no more than eight that's people. That's how many extra cars fit in my right. driveway. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. And this retreat, is it specifically for kind of the clientele you're already working with yes. or can anybody okay so it's somebody We're starting with that as a gotcha. differentiation and we'll see how it goes yeah. you know i think um in the beginning I, it's very important for the participants to be in kind of a closed safe space because that's the biggest fear is speaking in front of a team of americans sure um now some of them are a little bit more confident and having a mixed group in the future might make sense, but mm. right now that's our strongest differentiation because I haven't found a comparable program yeah. anywhere else in the US that I'm yeah. aware of that yeah. focuses exclusively on non-native English speakers. Yeah, very good. Because I do know there's a lot of people who would love to be more confident public speaking yeah. too, right? Because I do think it's the number one fear. Most, mm -hmm. most mm -hmm. people, period, across the board, but certainly I understand with the non-English speaking people, that's uh, that would be... And I'm sure they're all having to do these presentations and yes. things like that in their roles. So, yeah, very, very good. Well, if there was one thing you'd want people who are watching to take away uh, learning about you, English with Purpose, uh, what would you say you would want them to know? I think our secret sauce is finding the communication disconnects on international teams. Mm. Um, you know, we are helping advanced English learners get better. But that's only part of the equation because we are privy to a lot of information about what's going on in general and we can almost always, even though we can't be in the room with them, we get a strong sense of the communication disconnects. And so the main thing beyond English with Purpose that I want people to remember is that communication is always a two-way street. Yeah. And it's not just about this person is the English learner in the room, so the entire burden is on them to carry mm. the communication. You know, so we. Um, this is our first expansion project, but we've been doing some consulting with the county around how to better communicate with multilingual and multicultural teams, because it is always a two-way street. Yeah. There's things that native speakers can do to help. Yeah. You know? and, and that should be the goal at all times, is just Fair clear enough. communication. Yeah, for sure. Where can people get more information? Um, Englishwithpurpose.com, and our primary social channel is LinkedIn. Awesome. Fantastic. Well, it was really fascinating. A pleasure to meet you. I can't wait for Sheep Pitch. 
We wish you the best of luck with that and your growth, but I'm sure no matter, you will be moving forward with some sort of version of your retreat to help people. And I think it's just wonderful. I think it's great. We thank you so much. Thank appreciate you. it. We appreciate you guys watching and we will see you next time. All right, want to thank Julie. I think it's going to be a phenomenal program and uh, can't wait to hear her pitch on uh, next week.